for that final playoff spot in the Atlantic Division. Joseph rides a jet stream through center, hits the brakes, throws it in front, and then sent wide by Kyle Olsen. Coming off the first two-goal game of his career, had a chance to open the scoring again. Now Joseph with a shot, tipped, and they score! The fourth line cashes in again for Wilkesbury Scranton. Redirected in front. Joseph is going to lead the fist bump line for the Penguins. So on the Penguins' first goal, the only goal in this contest thus far. 1-0 lead for the Penguins, 16 seconds remaining in the power play. Joseph walks in, passes down for Hollander, shoots and scores! A power play goal for Philip Hollander, and now the Penguins are up by two. Shrugged off the puck, Lehigh Valley dishes towards the slot for Wilson, bobbles over his stick, Hogberg will let one fly, goes wide, Gerard wraparound, pass in front, shot, oh my goodness, Alex Dorio with an unbelievable barrel roll save. It was behind the net when the puck was turned over, it was the first man back, here's a pass by Clendenning, over to Sushko, and Dorio can't pull a rabbit out of his hat this time. Glendening finds Sushko, and the Phantoms are on the board. The Penguins time. Lisinski's there to steal it for Lehigh Valley. Pass intercepted by Hollander. Hits Fadun out of the penalty box. A breakaway. He shoots, and a shoulder save made by right Ustamenko. Side of the blue line, down low for O'Reilly. Tries to toss it in front. Stopped by Dorio. Mad scramble in front. Ends up being dragged away from the pile by Lisinski. York gives it back to Lisinski. Down low to Garrett Wilson. Former Penguins captain returns it to Lisinski, thrown back to Wilson, tries to chip it over to O'Reilly, shot, they score. Swooping in is Hayden Hodgson. The Phantoms cash in on their third straight power play here in this third period. Slot, boosted in, defends him well. Saucer pass over the stick of Cal O'Reilly, taken by Yusso Ricola. Tried a hard pass up the wall, broken up by Hodgson, comes to O'Reilly in the slot, down low, Hodgson, saved by Alex Dorio. It's Bunneman. Across the blue line, slows down, now given to Cal O'Reilly, back to Bunneman, takes the shot, save Dorio, O'Reilly on the rebound, backhander stopped, and now the Penguins come away with it. Friedman races ahead with Valtteri boosting it, a two on one, boosting it, hits the trailer, Hollander one time. One for three this season in the shootouts, 11.1% in his AHL career. Picks up the puck to a chorus of boos. Slow approach by Clendenning, gives a little shoulder fake, shoots and scores. Slipped it through the legs of Alex Dorio. Can't believe that one went off. O'Connor once again comes in slow to the left. Back to his right. Pulls it to the backhand shot. Ustamenko got a piece of it, and the Phantoms win. Penguins can't convert on their shootout attempts, and Lehigh Valley able to survive an early onslaught. Nailers come in, winners of six in a row. Redding has dropped four straight. Both of those are C. Nailer top. always good to catch up with Fritsch, and he said, we really haven't gone through this much at all this year. Cormier's shot to the wide. Wood helps it along for Hossinger. Here comes Jostling, two on one on the left side. Jostling holding into the net, and a save made this by one's Blodell. This by Millman, who played for Ryan Kuwabara with the Saginaw Spirit, and the that's baby. a spirit. Here comes the spotlight. Lee's far side for Drake. Left circle, tees up a bomb, and it got broken it up. up. Kenny Hossinger explodes back in the other direction, looking far side, Pritchard hammering in towards the net, save Lekis, rebound, touched in on the doorstep as Kenny Hossinger gets one back on his side of the Almeida brotherly rival. Almeida sticking along the far side boards, spiked out of there. Smith has it go off the referee, loose to the backhand. Pritchard Yon around the back wall, twisted up high, McNally across the line. Cormier takes there, wrister through traffic and it flies in. Dominic Cormier with the straightaway wrist shot into the top right corner and Redding takes a 2 nothing lead. Grabbed out of skates by Ood, twirling high in the zone, turnaround shot, body down by Flo Dell, loose puck on the doorstep, wrapped it. Watling tries to cut it across. Smith jumping up from the point, then lays it back. Ood, Rister, tipped by Jostling, save made. Flo Dell, they scrape for Richard, it on the doorstep. Right side, leaves it off. Sasir with a dumping shot, goes wide of the net. Kenny Hossinger, bottom of the left circle, wrist shot, score. Looked like a bit of a tough angle there. Trying to good to look the middle. Deep. And Garrett Cockrell makes the intercept. Leading Gooch over for Bykov, right side, in the slot of the shot. Pad, save, rebound. Of his stick. 
Almeida winds high in the zone. Says, see you later to Cormier. Rister, body down by Flodell. And he's at her point, McNally. They were trying to chair for one-timers top of the circle last night. This time, he loads it low. Gooch, across slot pass. Top of the left and circle. Feeds it along the goal line. Kenny Hossinger gives off to Cormier. Center point, Millman fakes the slapper. One-time drive by Gagnon. As low, skids it off the linesman. Redding had only had the one regulation loss at home for steal, but they give it away out of the zone as DeChera flies it ahead, leading Gooch in right side, back in, looking through the slot out from the right off. point. Ortiz has it there, dancing with, tries to make a play, ends up leaving to Sage and the self pass to open space. Hadley's leaking in left side, turn around, Corsi has stopped, rebound, Jared Cockrell the first try, second swipe, Hampton tried to cradle it in zone. Gagnon, right side, has Gooch going to goal, had it dart it to him. Stick handles with it, out to the point to Chera. McNally, top of the right circle, blast off the outside Hossinger of the net. Looking for Hampton, tapped it in deep, so no icing as he goes crashing in. Centers to Cam Hossinger, saved by Flodell. Far side corner, Cockrell chasing after it, eludes a check, looks middle, hop on the doorstep, slid it on Rips goal. over, Dechera to the center point, McNally handling left circle into the slot, a one-timer Evan kicked out by Luckis. But it's eventually attacked away, and Hampton eludes the troops the other way. Hampton in, left side, Watling, one-time score! <laughs> Pushing it through, looking for Sage in the takeaway. Gooch comes rumbling in, right side shot, save made by Lekis. In the midst of a change, able to escape it. Jostling, left side. Breaks to give himself space, delivers. Almeida, right side shot. Line. And feeds over, left side. Gets the return feed. Rister through traffic, missed wide. Off the end boards! And Lekis is left. Although I'd really like things to change so that we don't have to go that route. But the Royals steal. Cooper in front of save. Lekas rebound. Lekas to the bench with the extra skater with 2.39 to go. Near side. Poke to the middle. Kenny Hossinger. Hat trick. From his own blue line. As the Royals need just six seconds with the empty net to Goops cash in. on to it. Right side. Dragging around right circle. Defended well by Lees. Far circle, leaving it off, whisking it on. Get out of here, I'm not going to call the icing play. I think he started his car when he did that. Yeah, I think he did too. Maniscalco with a left side shot. That got blocked, wrestled towards the front of the net. Comes popping out near side, and that ends the game. That was 100%. Yeah, let's just get out of here. <laughs> Gee whiz. 4-1 is the final. It's a great day for big savings at Thriftway. Like a five-pound bag of staff sugar, now just 99 cents with coupon. And get your favorite 7-Up or RC product in the two-liter bottle for 69 cents. To Colonel shaking things up with my new extra crispy chicken. I double dip and <laughs> double bread it so it's double crunchy. It's new and woo, tie down the furniture. Right now, get eight pieces plus six of my honey barbecue wings, just $9.99. That price ain't gonna last, so shake a leg. Hold on, I said just a leg. A KFC we do chicken rice. And it's right crunchy too.
everybody, it's me, Timmy Firestein, and welcome to Flyers Minor League Report. I'm your host, Timmy Firestein. Tonight, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms will be in action against the Cleveland Monsters in Cleveland tonight. Also, in the ECHL side of things, the Reading Royals will be in action tonight. They will be on the road for several games starting tonight against the Indy Fuel. When we last left off, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms faced off against the Wilkesbury Scranton Penguins in a game with playoff implications. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms got off to a, uh, a tough start in that game, giving up two goals in the first period. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms then cut the score in half 2-1. to one. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms then tied the score 2-2 two two in the third period, and the game went into overtime. No goalie could be solved in overtime, so it went into a shootout. Karelus Domenko was solid in the shootout. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms got a win in the shootout, being the most restraint payments, 3-2. That, that had to be one of the most important wins for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, who were trying to claim a playoff survive. They're now tied with the most restraint payments for playoff points. For that last playoff spot. Tonight, the Phantoms will be in action against the Cle Cleveland Monsters, a team that hasn't been very good this year, has been losing a lot of games lately. But the Phantoms should not take any opponent lightly, as that win against the Wilkes Barre Street and Penguins gave the Phantoms a chance to maybe clinch a playoff spot this, this season. The, fan the Phantoms can can keep getting points in their next game, in their next upcoming games, then they can have a chance to really make some noise and make the playoffs. The Lehigh Valley Phantoms have to win tonight's game. Every game from now on is a must win if the Lehigh Valley Phantoms want to get that last playoff spot. Also, the Red Royals have been acting tonight against the NG Fuel. When we last left off, the Red Royals beat the Wheeling Nailers 4 to 1. The Red Royals finally got back on the winning track. Let's hope that they can keep it going tonight as they take on the NG Fuel on the first game in this road trip. The Red Royals have maintained first place once again. They're hoping that the Red Royals look like a team that couldn't make the playoffs. I'm Timmy Flyers guy, and this has been your Flyers, my relief report. Let's go Phantoms, and let's go Royals.